Tyco High Power Transverter model HX240 covering 3.5, 7, 14, 21 and 28 meg. Um, effectively to use it uh, you're going to need a 2 metre rig that has uh, upper side band, lower side band and CW if you require it. I've got an old um, ICOM here, uh, IC271. Um, you can drive it between, uh, we'll say, 1 watt up to 10 watts, um, and it will give you approximately 40, 40 watts output. Um, quite simple to use. Um, effectively, if we um, want to listen to 14.24 uh, um, uh, on here, we switch this around to the 14, we ch tune this to 240. And there might be somebody there now. Yep, there is. So we're picking up the HF on there. And just as a quick comparison, um, let's turn the volume up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the same for all the bands. Um, there is a preamp just by pressing that, um, which does make a difference as you can see by the S meters dropping. Um, and the band plan is pretty much has that there. So at the moment, if you want a uh, 40 280, you, you can tune your rig to between 14400 and 14350, which is pretty much the uh, 20 meter band plan um, and it's the same for the rest of the plan sorry I've moved off then um, but very simple to use uh, but it does work well um, I'll do some uh, test transmissions to show you um, into a dummy load um, but yeah it works really well if you've only got a 2 meter multi mode rig and you want to get HF uh, this is probably the cheapest option. Okay, this is a quick test. Uh, 20 meters, uh, frequency 14.0.80 into a dummy load. Got the radio, uh, 2 meter radio set to 144.080. Uh, we set this to uh, 14 meg and we've put in line an SWR meter so we can read the power. Uh, we set the radio to upper side band as indicated there so if we just do a quick transmit now um, it's a roughly about six watts being fed into the uh, transverter um, and we'll just see what the output is and as you can see there it's just over 40 watts uh, well according to top meter it's closer to 50 but um, probably a little bit more than uh, we need so we can drop that back a little bit um, we'll just try it on um, we'll try it on 7 meg and we'll change as we go into 7 meg we need to drop this to lower side band and we'll put that back to the same frequency so we're on low side band um, and let's, now let's just do another transmission as you go, you can see just well, as, <laughs> as close as to no, it's showing 50 watts at the top and a little bit over on the bottom scale. So, um, I can probably knock the power back a little bit into on this. So, let's just do that again and we'll just tweak him back a bit. That's better, about 40 watts as it should be. Well, I hope that gives you a basic overview of the transverter. Uh, the model HX240 um, seems to work okay. I've tried a couple of test transmissions, um, I'm getting about 40 watts out of it, just over if I need it. Um, so it does seem to work quite well. And if you had um, something like an FT290R or something, a two meter multi mode rig that you wanted HF capability for, it's probably the thing to look out for. Um, it's not really for FM. Um, I believe you can use FM on the 28 meg band, uh, but I think it's limited to about 30 watts maximum. So, uh, but I hope that helps. If anybody's uh, looking at buying one of these, very simple to uh, install. 
Um, typical setup for um, any linear amplifier really, uh, output from the radio into the back and then there's a socket on the back here which then goes off to your antenna. Um, at the moment I've just got it running through an SWR meter I need to that dummy load but I've just plugged the aerial back in so I can just do a quick test. Uh, but it seems to work out right so at the moment just a quick overview we're on uh, 7 meg according to that and we're on 085 uh, so we're on 7.085 um, uh, it's as simple as that really uh, it works quite well audio is not as nice as the um, the uh, the newer type rigs but um, <laughs> what do you expect 